Hey y'all and welcome to this week's Midweek Mini. I'm Andrea. Today I'm going to talk about someone you may have never heard of until today. Her name is Sophie Scholl and she was quite an amazing young woman. Sophie was born in Germany in 1921, and at the time of her, her birth, her country was in turmoil. Fortunately, she was born into a family that was secure and comfortable. Now, before the family moved to Ulm, her father had been the mayor of Forktenberg. Now, my German is non-existent, so I do apologize for any mispronunciations, so just bear with me. Now, by the time she reached her teenage years, Hitler had came into power. Now, at first, Sophie and her brother Hans supported Hitler, and in fact, Hans had joined Hitler's youth movement, and she joined its sister organization called the League of German Girls. This horrified their father, and so he eventually, I mean, he, you know, I think he finally got through to them, and he probably, probably too, from Hitler showing his true colors. Um, they figured out who he really was. So, um, they also had seen how he treated the Jewish community and artists. And so, they quickly changed their minds. Now, Sophie and Hans, they both attended Munich University. And they shared the same circle of friends because they all had the same common interests. And, su you know, such. Um... Now, kids during that time were living in violent times, and, you know, they were becoming outspoken, though, so they were determined to resist that dictatorship. Hans and his friend, his first name is Alexander, um, I'm going to say his last name is Schmorl, founded a group called the White Rose. In the beginning, there was only six members, and they worked really hard to promote their cause. They printed and handed out leaflets, and the leaflets, leaflets had strong messages like, We won't be silenced. We are your bad conscience. The white rose won't leave you in peace. They spoke out against the murder of Jewish people and demanded an end to the war. On February 18, 1943, Hans and Sophie were handing out leaflets at the university, and for whatever reason, Sophie climbed to the top landing of the university's main building. Well, as this is going on, and as she flung out a handful of leaflets over the edge, she was being watched, though, and it was by a caretaker, and he turned around and ratted her out to the Gestapo. Sophie and Hans were interrogated, put on trial, and sentenced to death. Now, these kids, or young adults, were standing up against Hitler, and they were defending what they believed was right, and they were punished for it. They refused to betray their friends, though, like the other members of the White Rose, but within a month, all of the members had been hunted down and executed. Sophie was only 21, when she went to the guillotine and her last words were such a fine sunny day and I have to go. What does my death matter if through us thousands of people are awakened and stirred to action? Her brave words are still honored in Germany today. There's roads and schools that are named after her and her brother. Now what would have been her 100th birthday was that was like back on the 9th of this of May. Um the German Mint issued a commemorative coin in her memory. Now, I've also found a very interesting Instagram account, and I'm going to include, like, the name of that account in this episode's description because there's no way I can pronounce it. But I think it's very interesting and it's worth following. Um, it uses actors to um, share photos from moments of Sophie 
um, Sophie's life. So, you know, if you have an Instagram account, go give it a follow because it's very interesting. It's very worth it. Well, that's all I've got for this week's Midweek Minis. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it um, taught you something you hadn't, you didn't know before um, because this was kind of new to me too. So, um, but you guys have a good rest of your day, a good rest of your week, and don't forget to come back Saturday for the Weekend Weird Files.